Alright, what's up guys? It's Saint here, and I'm doing a little tutorial today, and um, it's just on something that I've been working with a little bit, and I wanted to share with you guys, because a lot of people don't know how to um, reverse and slow down um, clips in Adobe After Effects, CS5, or CS4, whatever you like. But um, yeah, so a lot of people don't know how to do it in After Effects. The only way they know how to do it is with um, Twixter or Twixter Pro, whatever. And um, so I'm going to show you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sick. <coughs> I'm going to show you guys how to slow it down and make it um, faster and reverse it with a really easy thing. You don't have to have any additional plugins for th for this, and um, I find that this runs a lot smoother than Sony Vegas slow motion, and it's um it's actually a lot easier to reverse uh reverse a clip in Adobe After Effects rather than uh, or compared to Sony Vegas because in Sony Vegas you got to do velocity and stuff, and it's just I, I think it's a lot of stuff to work with. So this is a lot easier to do. It's really simple. Just have your layer selected, you know, import your clip or whatever. And all you want to do is go to layer, time, and enable time remapping. And you see uh you get the first keyframe right here and this last keyframe right here. Um so the clip will play at normal speed. I mean my computer is really slow so it might not load as fast. But um, yeah, I'll let that load a sec, and then you'll see it's going to be playing at normal speed. So let's see, normal speed, nothing, nothing new, okay. And all you're going to want to do to speed it up is just take this last keyframe because the reason this happens when you drag this keyframe closer, and I'll go ahead and press play everything is going to go a lot faster because what you had before right here when this keyframe was over here was the entire clip and all the keyframes in between it <coughs> now you've put the entire clip and all of its keyframes between these keyframes right here which you'll see speeds it up I just went from there from here to there and it is already almost through half the clip so um, that's how you speed it up now I'm just gonna you know what I'm just gonna undo that just so it goes back and um, I I, I uh, had to tell somebody this earlier um, so I thought I'd mention this real quick if you right click uh, right here or right over here you can go to composition settings and you can make your composition longer if you need to remap a clip like after Twixter or something so just I'm going to bring that to 45 seconds and click OK and then you'll see you drag this thing out or pull this thing back up it's oh my bad and you pull this thing all the way down there's the end of your clip which you should be here and here's the rest <coughs> of the time that you have to work with so what I'm going to do is drag this out and obviously that's just going to restart or uh, drag on and continue with the clip. So if I come over here, that load up, if it will, I guess it won't, but all you're going to want to do is just drag this over. Now I'm, I'm just now starting to experiment with this. So uh, just kind of cut me some slack because I really don't, uh, I'm just showing you guys this tutorial just so you know um, the basics of this. I'll, I might do, if it gets requested, I might do one uh, explaining how to fully slow it down and all that. Okay, so I'm just going to shrink this a little bit so, so I can get a better view on here and go back to the beginning. Computer's running very slow. So let's see. And you can see it was running a bit slower. Drag this a bit further. Drag this out a bit further. 
bring it back. Okay, let me let that load just about right there where my cursor is. Okay. See right here? It's going slower than normal. It's a lot smoother than the slow motion in Sony Vegas. So yeah, that's all you really need to do to slow it down. Just make the composition longer if it's not already longer. And just remap the clip as long as you need it to be. I'll do it the entire time and just take this keyframe right here and drag it all the way back you can make it as slow as you need it but um just with twixter it just uh... it's a little bit easier instead of dragging all this and twixter just uh... i guess is a, is a, a lot smoother so that's how you would uh... slow it down so um... i got my clip slowed down now i just want to reverse the clip so if i come right here drag this keyframe here I'm just going to take this keyframe and drag it in front of that one. Bring it to the front. Okay, and press play. I'm sorry, my computer is very slow. I just have a little laptop. I really look, uh, look forward to getting a new computer. Hopefully, uh, get some money for that. Birthday is coming up at the end of the month probably do a little editor or something for that, I don't know. Yeah, this thing does not want to load for me, but um, I'll do something real quick which will maybe make it a little bit faster. Okay, whatever. This has to change up real quick, just give me a sec. Come on. Come on, alright. I'm just going to delete that. Okay, it switched. All right, so I just deleted it from the composition. I'm just gonna take the raw file, which is normal speed, and layer. Come on, layer, time, enable time remapping. Got it right here. I'm gonna drag this over here, this here, this here, and go right here. Press play. And let that play. Which is going very, very slow. And yeah, you can see that it's going reversed as it's loading here. And I'm, I was running into the room, now I'm running out of the room. Okay, let me shrink this down and get it more accurate. Apply that. And it goes backwards. Now since I didn't, uh, since I only made it right here, it's sped up. But if I were to, say, make it. And remember, this is the front keyframe. This was the first keyframe right here. And this was the last one, which over here. So it'll play normal speed backwards. So if you're doing like a little edit and there's a, uh, I don't know, a pause part where you want to rewind the clip and then go into another one, maybe do a cool little transition with that. Um, but yeah, this is going on longer than I expected it would be. I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. Um, hope you guys enjoy this <laughs> and um, give me some requests for some tutorials. Um, I'm actually kind of liking doing this tutorial thing, and I'm looking into getting some new effects. I just got the optical flares preset, uh, the second pro preset deal, so I'll probably do an edit with that later on tonight. Just a quick little two clip edit, some clips I got. So uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. See you later.